Hello everyone, today we're going to be playing some more Tales of Arise. We are right at the end of the game, only a couple more episodes to go until we reach our final epic conclusion. And I'm very, very excited about that and I hope you guys are as well. Last time we began going through the final dungeon. It is huge. We did a lot of fights, a lot of exploring, a lot of levels were gained. And today we're going to continue. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Thank you guys for being here. Hope you enjoy. What are those? They look like Xion's thorns and with flowers too. Not real ones though. They're just like that flower growing out of Rena. We must be getting close to the Great Spirit now. Are we? Are we getting close? Hey, Rinwell, what was that thing you said? about how a little bit of Dana's Great Spirit is inside all of us. Right. That's why Dana's Great Spirit is so much more... diluted. Weak, even. Whether it was a choice so it didn't overpower others, or just the way it is, is anyone's guess. If that's true, then wouldn't it mean Dana's will could never form under natural conditions? Yeah. Sounds like that's probably the case. So if Dana exists within all of us, then what if something occurred that brought everyone's hearts and minds together as one? That unity could potentially act as Dana's will. You mean if everybody was, like, thinking the exact same thing at the exact same time? Come on, there's no way we could pull that off. I know it's a long shot, but it might work. I've seen this before. Let's assume that's even possible for a second. Would it even be enough to fight back against Rena's great spirit? If nothing else, it might be an option if we can't use the Renesalma. Things are different here than on the surface. Mm. That shows how deeply we've ventured into Rena. And how close we've come to the real enemy. Finding the Renesalma. So here's a question. We came all this way to Rena on the assumption the Renesalma's here, right? Don't. Just don't say it, Law. Yeah, but I'm just saying... I said don't. <laughs> I can understand why you might be concerned, Law. But you need to remember that there are people it affects more directly than you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, sorry. We've managed to make it this far believing. Losing faith now won't do us any good. We're better off focusing our anxiety elsewhere. Such as? The Great Spirit. If Hefract 35's to be believed, our enemy won't just be handing over the Renus Alma to us. At least, not without a fight. Not only that, but that same enemy just gulped down more than an entire world's worth of astral energy. Hmm, point taken. It may be strange to say, but... When I'm fighting, or at least know what needs to be done, it helps me a lot. I don't doubt myself as much. So thanks, both of you. With age comes wisdom. <sighs> the floor's on the ceiling and the ceiling's on the floor. This whole thing's making my head spin. Why would they even do something like this? The Helganquil can bend life forms to suit their will. Nothing they could do at this point would surprise me. The ceiling is on the floor! That doesn't weird you out? What good is a team made up of members who all share the same opinions on everything? And besides, when you get to be at my ripe old age, one begins to consider it quite uncouth to show one's true emotions at times. Oh, come on, Grandpa. You can't be that old. The sands of time wait for none of us, lad. Yeah, we'll see. And at this rate, I guess I'll have to live long enough to get as old as you first, huh? You will. And when the time comes, I look forward to hearing you change your tune on the matter. So Dohalim's old, huh? Let me guess, he's like 23? Um, how old are these characters? Is there information hey, on that anywhere? It's shining. 
This one's tough, but we have no choice. Johalim's 28. And he's an old man. Don't get carried away. That's not what I want to hear days before my birthday. We're about I'm about to turn Twenty-eight. No complaints here. Just kidding. I wish. I wish I was an old twenty-eight-year-old. Fuck. I'll crush you. Oh yeah, I guess. I guess Alfin is technically the oldest one. Isara's twenty-five. I'm, I guess, I'm guessing Law and Rinwell are the youngest ones. There might even be teenagers still. Onward, let's do another boss fight. Yeah? far we can get not fighting stuff no 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 let's see what you've got i shall ensure you survive this We just vanished into thin air. I guess it's pretty quick if you just, um... Avoid battles and flee from those that you can't avoid. Stamina ring. Is it amazing? It's level one. Why are they giving me level one shit? It's not good. Not good. I wouldn't be running from everything if I if I wasn't so pressed for time. I I really do want to fight all this stuff. <gasps> There's a, even a dragon. Well, that looks fun. Definitely got to come back to that. dragon you look so cool don't think that will happen, but it is definitely a possibility, Doom. But my lack of leveling makes me struggle so much that it takes ends up taking longer. Well, then we'll have an interesting final boss fight. Oh, look at this. Ooh, this is the room to be in. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, shit. Damn, we can make a, a different pixie crystal weapon, whatever. Fairy something. We can maybe make a, a better one. 
with like some better bonus stats. Where were we going? This way? There's an item in there. Oh god. But I don't have um CP. Well, maybe we'll fight this one more battle and then maybe that'll be it. I can transfer them. Oh right, I haven't used the transfer uh, system yet. Oh, that sounds fun. Can you just let me get the uh, item? Wait, I could probably flee from this. And then get the item in the chest. Oh, I feel like I'm just cheating the game by now. I'm just cheating the game at this point. Free for me! Free for me! The Zoogles here are putting up a real fight. That just goes to show how important this place is. Or perhaps they simply thrive. Uh -huh. Okay, so. Um. Such harsh conditions. I don't give a damn why they're here. Should we stop we here? All to the ground. Or should we see what that event is? What do you guys think? This is a good place to stop. Yeah, well, I know it's not the end of the dungeon. There's not much plot until you get to the end. Alright, well, we might as well just... Do do do. See what's going on here? The astral energy here is so dense. It's like trying to walk through water. I know the Great Spirit's will is in the center of Rena, but with the world in this state, the entire planet has become its body, right? So doesn't that mean we're already inside it? I would say that is horrifyingly correct. After all, the further we climb, the denser the astral energy becomes. <sighs> What's the matter, Rinwell? Are you not feeling all right? No, it's nothing like that. It just feels like the energy here is a little more intense than it was before. You mean Rena's energy? Yeah. It's like when I made contact with Dana's will in the wedge. It's almost as though I can understand what Rena's will is thinking. But Rena's will is supposed to be a lot stronger. Aren't we risking the Great Spirit controlling us if we interact with it directly? I don't think we have to worry about that. Renna's will is only supposed to control true Renans, like the Helganquil. If we can discern what the Great Spirit is thinking too, we might learn something, a weakness. But just to be safe, let me contact it alone. Are you insane? Renwell, you're gonna- <sighs> Oh, she's just Rinwell. already doing it. There was only meant to be one world. And your goal is to make them one. Is this fear? Make them one. Are you all right, Rinwell? Rinwell, are you okay? No, I'm. I'm fine. I think. What were you thinking? You could have gotten yourself killed. He's right. You had us all terrified, Rinwell. 
I'm sorry. I really, really am. But, but I know now. I know how the Great Spirit thinks. I know what it wants, how it feels. Brenna's Great Spirit wants to complete the world. What's that supposed to mean? Are you saying it's trying to make something? Yes, exactly. Originally, Dana and Rena were meant to be one world. But that never happened. They've stayed separated, and the Great Spirit wants to finish the process. What do you mean, one world? How is that even possible? I don't know, but its will is clear. That's what the Great Spirit is trying to accomplish. Yeah, but it's like... The only problem is that since Rena's energy isn't evenly spread like Dana's, it seems like it'll vanish before that happens naturally. So it's trying to absorb Dana while it still can, so that it can force the two planets to unite. Is that what you're saying? <sighs> the Great Spirit is scared. But it's not scared the way a rational person would be. It's more raw and undiluted. Like just pure fear. Like an animal, acting out of instinct. Although admittedly, an animal would be easier to communicate with. At the very least, I have my doubts that it recognizes us as sentient beings with a reason for coming here. Earth, water, fire, and wind energy exist in both worlds, but only darkness and light can be found within Rena and Dana, respectively. The Renis Alma, as far as we know, the only host capable of harvesting the astral energy, is composed of all six. Knowing all that, Rinwell's findings do sound plausible. That sounds a lot like Xion's thorns, doesn't it? The whole reason the Great Spirit is trying to unite Dana and Rena into one world is in order to save itself. And if her thorns are part of the Great Spirit, then they must also be trying to save themselves? Alfin, what is it? We thought the only way to free your thorns was for you to die. Yet despite that, they seem to be doing everything in their power to stop that from happening to you. Something wasn't adding up. But then I just realized something. If the Great Spirit doesn't want to die, then neither would your thorns. Those same emotions, that fear, that determination, and its energy must have been the same thing that was keeping you alive. You were its vessel. In that case, is that why her thorns caused so much pain to anyone who touched her? Because they were trying to protect themselves? If that's all true, then... Well, it's more than a little ironic. The Great Spirit merely expresses its desires. I imagine it was the Helganquil who were likely tasked with putting together and implementing an actual plan. Xion... I'm okay. We need to hurry and clean this mess up before it gets out of hand. Still, even if the current state of the world is wrong like you said, does that really make everything okay? If the world had been whole from the start, as it should have been, there'd be no Dana and no Rena, no masters or slaves, no lords, no crown contest, maybe just peace. So, uh, save Xion and all of Dana. So, uh, I don't know. To think, all this started because of the Great Spirit's desire to keep living. The only reason it craves energy is because it's dying from starvation. When you think about it like that, maybe the things it's done aren't so strange after all. If Rena had been more like Dana, things would have worked out a whole lot better. It's like Heverecht 35 told us. The Danan and Renan spirits are meant to be completely different beings. Rena's energy amassing in one place led to its developing a powerful will. But that also made it crave energy, sapping Rena dry until it perished. Whereas Dana's energy is dispersed, meaning its will never developed to the same extent. And without that hunger, Dana the planet was spared. As for which is correct, well, I'm not sure it's our place to even say. Still, 
I can't help but think it reminds me a lot of the dichotomy of the human condition. Dichotomy? What do you mean? Those who know not satisfaction are driven to keep devouring without limit. But those who are content with their lot in life rarely fulfill their potential. I imagine it's likely that the larger Rena's great spirit grew, the more and more powerful its hunger also became. Everything in moderation. When all said and done, maybe that's the hardest thing for people to learn. So are we going to end up helping it unite the planets or something, I wonder? They talked about all this, like understanding. The reasoning behind everything that the Renan Great Spirit is doing. But they didn't really mention like changing their, their plans or anything. So I guess we're still just going to try to destroy it. I don't know. Uh. Uh. See if we can get through this room, this uh, section. I want to be able to finish this tomorrow. Omega Elixir. Hell yeah. Is that a dragon? A dragon? Can we escape from the dragon? Oh, we can't. Oh boy. Alright, well let's do this Rinwell stuff and see if we can beat it fast. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's already halfway dead. I have no limits. Here goes. Now you see what I can do. Now we're not denied. Outstanding form. It's weakened. Raging death. Coming through. Yum. That guy got wrecked! Blow them away. To be fair though, we're level 52 now. He's level 52 also. We're bridging the gap between our level and the enemy's levels in here. Wherever we go on this planet, there are machines littered everywhere. It's impressive to look at as a bystander, but I sure wouldn't want to live here with all of this around. Bridging the gap, if you know what I mean. <laughs> there are no fish here. I couldn't cook any of my delicious dinners for you all if we lived here. This guy looks quite menacing. <laughs> the... Go no further! I think this these guys are a little bit tankier than the uh the dragons. Well, maybe not. Maybe we just kick ass now. What's going on? 
I can't see myself. All the experience is worth it. I know, but... But then there's time. That time factor. I expect you'll be in high demand if that's the case. How fun, though. Blah, blah, blah. Magic. <laughs> right? Blah, blah, blah. Magic. You get the idea. Wouldn't it be lovely? Wouldn't it be grand if we could get to another mysterious healing spot and then end the stream? Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. I gotta go through here. Can I flee? I can. See ya, bitches! Harry Potter would be here. Hilarious if every spell name was replaced with blah 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 magic. It's not blah 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 magic, it's blah 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 magic. Get lost. <laughs> blah 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 magic So those thorns of Shion's they're really a part of Rena's great spirit? Most likely. But only a small fragment of it in the big picture. I don't sense a will of its own emanating from them. Hmm. If it's that insignificant, is there that much point getting rid of it? The hell is all this? Dark astral energy separator. All the elements. Huh. Hmm. Alright, well this is probably where we're gonna stop. Already went over time enough. 76 hours! This is the longest game that I've played in a while. This place is rather gloomy. Why don't you lighten the mood for us while we're here? We are here! <laughs> I'll see what I can do. At the very end. We just came into this room. We're in the final dungeon, guys. We just came into this room. The astral energy convergence zone and there are these six separators and progress through that door so let's, let's do this let's see where this goes dark astral energy separator i heard these are like side I think was saying these are like side places where you get, can get loot or something. Okay, so a little battle and then some loot. Um, CP, we're decent. Decent. All right, let's do it. Got a really bad feeling about oh, this. so. Question. Be careful, how, uh... How much should I worry about going over time tonight? Like, are we... Are we good? Is 
Should I be worried? Yeah. Why are there all the enemies attacking me? No worries. Shumurai is just talking out of his ass like usual. <laughs> Like every time I ask a question about a game that Shumrai knows nothing about, he always answers so confidently too. Okay. Something not going right right now. I need to pay attention. Oh my god. Shion died. I took my res off. Why are these are these enemies like more difficult than what we've been fighting? Because this just feels like a bit of a difficulty spike. What level are you? Fifty-five? That's pretty high. Because I I skipped a bunch of enemies. <sighs> On the way over here to save time, and now I'm I'm fucking dying. Now we're dying. Thanks, Shion. Be careful not to overdo it. I'm sorry. I'll do better. Coming through. Okay. Scarlet Inferno. Justinian. A a watch streak. Thank you for the watch streak. By the way, anybody who who gets a three day watch streak in in my channel, you guys are cooler than the people who don't. Unless you have some sort of like reason, like you have to work or do things like that, then maybe I'll let it slide. But otherwise, only the cool kids get watch streaks. You know what I'm saying? The doer dies. The bros till the end. Don't you just love it when you're accidentally dodge something? All the enemies get super tanky in here. Ugh. Uh, let's see. They're weak to light. Please get away from me. We're out of CP. Hello. Back into the fray. I feel like, um, I'll bring you back. Huh. I'll bring you back. We really need to go to a shop. Benediction light. But there's no place that I could get back here quickly. Our comrades need our abilities to survive. We haven't gotten any teleport. I feel like there should be one in here. We're just gonna leave uh Alfin down. I mean, I get it. Alfin died as I was healing him. Cause like I'm a, I'm kind of out of orange shells here. This is 
the most peculiar taste. I don't know if I have enough. One down. If we have to go back, then we have to go back. It is what it is. We get this core, guys. Well, these items better be worth it. And we better get some damn good experience from this shit, too. Damn. Give it all you got. Best do the best you can do. You can do it. Anyone else think this Thank you. Touch too dangerous. It's quite dangerous. We should fall back to regroup and try again later. Duality. Made for duels. Okay. All right, well, we get upgraded armor, it looks oh. like. All right, let's see how many of these we can get through before we have to go back. Watch going through the door and there's a freaking teleport spot and a full heal thingy. Whoa. After I used all those orange shells, oh well, I can always buy more. Irregularity detected in security of multiple astral energy separators. Transference disabled until their safety has been confirmed. Wait, I can't teleport until... Until I defeat all these things? That's some bullshit right there. Let's go fire. Oh, I can do three. Let's try for three then. Hi, okay, fire enemies? No, they're still dark. They're still uh, dark enemies. They're all just going to be dark enemies, aren't they? Well, this guy seems considerably less tanky than the last one. I know it's Rena's native element, but I don't know. I just wish they could have some different weaknesses. Just from a gameplay standpoint, you know? Oh my god. I'm messing up all my buttons here. Did you guys take out the Helganquins? Helganquils? Whatever? Oh, I guess they did. Well, that one was way easier than the previous one. Mumbane. Looks equipment. like that might be for Mr. Alfin here. Yep. Armor blessed with the protection of a great being. Legend holds it took a thousand blows without leaving so much of a scratch. Can't say its appearance is to my tastes, personally. I do wish. It's 
Speaking of which, Dohalim, I do wish that just like the armor, the weapons, that they had different looks for each of the armors. I mean, I know that would be a lot of work, but that would be really cool. But we have outfits instead, which is nice. Water. Level 56 sword dancer. This guy looks... Oh, he's like a boss type. I'm sure we're fine. Why'd you heal me? To stop you dying? Ah, uh, right. A charge like that could easily be fatal. Just as well, I'm here to stop. I'm really bad at using Kisara's boost. I know I've, I've probably said this before, but it's really hard. No, I had my my buff and everything. Oh, just noticed a weak point here. I think I need to maybe redo some of her moves that I have set up. Dang it! Oh, and I'm about to die again. Ugh. Nice, go Alfin. But really go me, because I'm the one dodging, you know? Oh, didn't dodge that time. Did I? It's hard to time for some reason. Oh, I think I was standing in something bad. Oh, everyone died. Bring you back from death again. It's not great. It's not great. Benediction light. I've used too much. Alright, it's time for this thing to die, please. Okay. Well, we did it. Wasn't too bad. 
He's got to pay more attention to what he's doing. Oh. There's more. Looking like he's looking at me. Oh my god. Good thing I dodged out of the way, because, yep, he was looking at me. Oh, come at me, bro. Come the fuck. Okay, don't. Actually, don't. Please don't. Ah! Don't do it. Oh god. No, 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 no. Somebody knock him down. Oh my god, the range on that tail swipe is so fucking big. Get him. Yes. No. I didn't want to put you out. Lame. Hey! Dude, he hates he hates Rinwell so much. He knows who he needs to worry about. He knows who the true threat is. Astro Flower. Anyone else think this might be a touch too dangerous? Ridwell's right. Wedding Four dress. Try again later. We're fine. Fine. Look at that. We still have all that CP and everything. I bet we can finish the last of these three. Ema bobbers. Let's go, Earth. Rena, truth. Oh, jeez. Come back to that one. <laughs> so, uh, something else, please. Something different than that. I'm okay with this. If we can get a level up, then I'll go back and fight. God damn it. Really? Wants to come after me, huh? Benediction light. Okay. That's four. Four of these little things down. 
quite necessary when creating weaponry. The design of this That's for law. Finally. If only we could have Actually, I'll do my shopping and stuff in a bit. To get here faster. I want to do a party campfire chat. Hey, Shion. Got any requests for... As far as cooking goes... I think we'll keep going with the donuts. Mm -hmm. I came out great. Try to get as many, like, things as we can to make our characters stronger. Helene. Care if I hang out for a while? You want some? Well, I'll be. I'm not accustomed to such offers, but I'll gladly partake. <sighs> it's quiet tonight, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think there are even any zoogles lurking around for once. Is this one of those times where people would start playing music? My, have our talk sparked an interest in such arts? I wouldn't go that far, but from what I've seen, there's a lot more to life than just swinging swords and getting into fights all the time. You wouldn't have gone without that knowledge for so long, had we Renans not pillaged your planet. Words cannot express how sorry I feel. Three hundred years of bad blood is too much to lay on one person's feet. That's something a man I admired once said. I appreciate the sentiment. I pray that once all of this fighting is over, will be able to finally find a purpose for yourself, other than simply fighting. You know, it's strange. I haven't given much thought about what I'm actually going to do with my life once our quest is all over. Become the, the house husband. The only I've ever been good at in life is swinging my sword around and hitting things. Then perhaps it's time for you to begin to contemplate what else you wish to do in life. Aside from fighting? Hmm... I guess you've got things like your music and junk, uh, I mean, antique collecting to look forward <laughs> junk to Junk collecting. Well, I'm sure you have other interests as well. From what I can tell, you seem to be rather interested in weaponry and Renan machinery, yes? I'm only interested in weapons when it comes to how easy they are to use. And as for technology, I don't know a damn thing about it. If you have the interest, you can always learn. Mm -hmm. Being able to understand and create technology that supports and improves lives is always valuable. I'm not sure I'm cut out for studying. You're right, there's stuff I wouldn't mind knowing more about, but that was merely a hypothetical example. My point is that sometimes you can find the answer in the things that you like and already do. Yeah, I hear you. Hmm. Hey, I know. If we're talking about things I like, what if I tried opening a spicy food restaurant? <laughs> not bad. Although, your customer base may be limited. I feel bad making you my life coach when I originally just wanted to drink together. Think nothing of it. It is the least I owe you. My life wouldn't be what it is today had you and your friends not come to Vicent. In fact, I think I may owe you all more than I could ever hope to... Uh, Alfand? <sighs> what a lightweight. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Okay, this is the one I wanted to... Wait, is this the one I wanted to unlock? Yeah, it is. Nice. Hey, Maddie. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for the good luck wishes. There he is, guys. Maddie from YouTube. YouTube Maddie. I love it. Perfect. Perfect name. I'm always like, there's this guy from YouTube called Maddie. <laughs> And uh, Maddie is the one who won the Bunny Awards competition, guessing my top 10 games. And he's the one who picked Tales of Arise. So thank you for popping in and saying hello. And I'll see you uh, on YouTube, YouTube Maddie. Okay, sweet. We unlocked that. This one? Ooh, increase rod extension critical rate. Increase rod extension attack. Oh man. I want all of these. Oh wait, I already have that one. I just love extending my rod. I want the most extended rod ever. Art casting mobility might be nice though. That might be nice. 
Or is this what we unlocked just now? It's kind of hard to tell. Increase critical. Ooh. Oh, man. I want all of it. I suppose we should call it a day. I want all of it. Feeling okay, well, Dohalim got his mystic thingy. Cool. All right, let's go somewhere where we can shop and do all that kind of good stuff. Mm, you dummy! What did I do? Dohalim pancakes. Huh? The fuck? What? What the hell just happened? I have time. Okay, we gotta hurry though. Equal parts compassion and passion, always ready to boldly rescue anyone from the perils of the munchies. Delectable, ineffable Dohalim pancakes. Get them while they're hot. That's quite the sales pitch. This is all new to me as well. I assure you. You paying royalties? You pay me royalties? Why, if it isn't Lord Dohalim himself. Care for a pancake, my lord? Might as well have some while we're here. Hell yeah, I want a pancake. Indeed. However, I'm not sure how I feel about eating my own visage in front of the populace. At least let me show you how to make them. I just got a pancake recipe. Is there a I'll special? I'll teach you the most important part. How to draw Lord Dohalim. Oh, this sounds like pure gold. I'm game. <laughs> <laughs> We should make some pancakes right now. They were drawing Dohalim's face back there. That seems like a handy trick to keep in your back pocket. The recipe's light on ingredients, and a little extra work could bring the flavor right out. Great! Then let's make some together. Our very own personalized pancakes. Sure. I got this. Don't make them spicy. Right, I don't need spicy pancakes. <laughs> <sighs> You're out too, Kisara. You'd win easily. What? Win what? Rigged. Is it a competition? Yes. A contest between me, Xion, and Dohalim. Wait, what? I'm more of an eating specialist. <laughs> you can say that again. Mm. <laughs> I accept any and all challenges. Great. Then I'll be the judge. I can gather the ingredients. Okay. Then it's on. Hey, uh, what about me? Oh yeah, I forgot about him. <laughs> oh no. Dana's tastiest pancake. Well, we have to do this. Maybe we'll have some luck finding what we need at the farm. Okay. We have the ingredients it looks like, so we need to go to the ranch. I don't know why I went out the door and got a loading screen when I didn't have to do that. Okay. Are your ranch? Yeah, yeah. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. <laughs> oh, well, look who it is. Long time no see. Hi. Good to see you. I'm here to grab some things if you don't mind. Oh, not at all. Take as much as you like. Help yourself. Thanks. Thanks for that. Now we can get to making some pancakes. Oh. Oh, pancakes, you say? I love mine thick and lathered with whipped cream. You know, if you add meringue, it makes the dough nice and fluffy. There ain't no better whipped cream than the kind made from the cow's milk here. Whoa. This must be an expert in the field. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to find out once and for all whose pancakes reign supreme. I guess he's emceeing now. <laughs> this Let's is hear some amazing. Talk from Kisara, our judge. Indeed. This is a highly eclectic group of competitors. I look forward to seeing what they produce for us today. Expectations sure are running high. Ah, and here comes Shion with her entry. I applied all of my know how to this and put extra care into the visual presentation. Well, that's Ooh, bold. Ooh, whipped cream, with Shion chocolate. Let's see how it tastes. Chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. What? Bad? I mixed in Good? some candy that tingles the tongue. Oh, um, 
I see. Pop rocks? It's creative. I'll give it that. But it's quite uh, a mouthful, as it were. It it might be too sweet. Well, I should hope so. I put in as much food and sugar as I could. It should provide three days worth of nourishment. <laughs> uh, three days worth? Time to run some laps. <laughs> She's like, I'm not going to be able to fit in my cool. armor. Now it's time for the Lord himself. Here is what I made. What, what the? Doholim pancakes. <laughs> I can't believe he actually did the art. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Go on. Relish my crowning achievement to your heart's content. Well, don't mind if I do. Not even a moment's pause. Is that like don't butter and caramel? There's some strange liquid leaking out of this. Ugh. Indeed. I gather delicacies the world over and pack them all in. That's what makes my masterpiece so good. Pancakes are overrated anyways. And you're out. <laughs> Defeat. <laughs> and just like that, his lordship is disqualified. <laughs> Pancakes are overrated. Uh, Get him out of here. Well, what do I do? I I just made regular old pancakes. Yeah, I think They're that's... They're both just so eccentric. And mine is so... How am I supposed to follow their acts? Just what the then Kisara well, ordered. Hey, what the fuck? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Just putting on some finishing touches. Oh, Oodle. Oh, your face. What? Are you sure? Well, okay. I, I'll never forget you, Hoodle. <laughs> Huh? Okay, made it. Here you go. Oh no, you didn't. It looked huh? better before. Uh, uh, never mind. She should have just Let's kept it how it was. Thinks. Hmm. Let's see. It's nice and soft around the edges, and yet there's a hoodle face firmly imprinted in the middle. The contrast of fluffiness and firmness is simply fascinating. And there's a sweet texture that's nicely offset by the jam's tartness. That, and it's the strangest thing, it gives me this odd sense of ardor and conviction. I guess it worked out. I give this a perfect winning score. I feel like she should she would have definitely won. Renwell takes the title! Either way, like Looks if she just like left it. Supreme over pancake dumb. I don't understand. I thought I'd gotten the look and taste perfect. What could I have done wrong? Huh? Where's Kisara? She took off running to burn off the food she ate. <laughs> I may have done her a disservice. Yep. I guess I was only thinking about what I personally would want to eat. You know, these other ones are actually pretty good. <sighs> I could go for more of this texture and salty sweetness. I agree. Still, they pale next to Rinwell's pancakes. Yeah, no question there. In fact, I would love to partake in them again sometime. <coughs> hmm? Whatever gave it such a fright? Uh, d don't worry about it. I'll draw all of your faces next time. I can't wait. Poodle you doesn't like being them, eaten. Right? Xion pancakes recipe, Dohalim pancakes recipe, and Hoodle pancakes recipe. Yay! <laughs> that was fun. Okay, whose turn is it to cook today? Nice try, Law. We all know it's your turn. Damn, was Play! that All right, guess I'll get to it. Wait, before you get started, remember when the three of us fixed pancakes back on the farm? I remember how weirdly proud you were of yours. Wait, don't tell me you want a rematch. Oh, no, nothing like that. Pancakes. It's just, 
I've been thinking about something ever since that day. That was literally I five minutes ago. Book to make the perfect pancake, and yet. Do you like pancakes, You're Clay? You're wondering why you lost, right? Pretty sure it's because you pumped Isara here with enough sugar to give a zoogle a. Anyways, I've come up with a recipe, and was hoping you guys could taste them and tell me what you think. All right, I'm up for round two. Challenge accepted. You ready to go running? Wait, are we all doing this? Uh, come on. Shion's clearly put a lot of work into this. I'm sure they'll be great. Right, everyone? <sighs> Thanks. Okay, wait here. I'll have them fixed up in just a few moments. Thanks for waiting, everyone. Here are your pancakes. I can't wait. Let's see how they taste. <sighs> Jump about in your mouth. You think they'd cancel each other out, but somehow they work brilliantly. They're so sweet. I feel like they'll melt in my mouth. Every bite makes me feel like I'm in heaven. Holy crap! These are so rich, just the way I like them. I can't stop stuffing them in my face. I'm this making you me want pancakes so bad. And heated them just enough to bring out their flavor. Amazing. The presentation is simply exquisite, and they have such a pure, refined taste to them as well. She catered to- They're perfect! perfect. <laughs> Shion, these pancakes are amazing. Really? <laughs> They're amazing! I'm so glad they turned out well. <laughs> Although, don't we all seem to have different impressions of how they actually taste? You're right. It's like everyone was eating something completely different. Here, let me take a bite of yours, Alfin. <laughs> Oh, she made individual... It's true. <laughs> I fine-tuned them to suit each person's unique tastes. <laughs> you did that for everyone's pancakes? That must have been a lot of extra work. It was, but I learned something important in doing so. You see, I was so focused on trying to make something that I thought would please people that I forgot to consider who I was actually serving. Here, water! <laughs> Thanks, Renwell. I thought I was a goner. <laughs> What's important as a cook isn't what I want people to feel about my food. It's about accommodating what they're looking for in a meal. Well said, Xion. I'm so proud of you for figuring that out. No recipe is complete without love and care for whoever's eating it. Those alone make a dish taste better than any spice could. So one might say that what makes a meal are both those who prepare it and those who eat it, rather than the food alone. How insightful. You've grown so much as a cook, Xion. I have nothing left to teach you. Oh, thank you, Master. <laughs> thank you so much. <sighs> Uh. Did she try to like hug her or something? And she just fucked her up. Holy shit! Nice. Wow, well, I wasn't expecting all that.